Hi all, today we will be discussing about acid base indicator. So we have already learned that in acid base titrations, there will be reaction between acids and base and the equivalence point can be detected with the help of an indicator. So this indicator will show a particular color change that helps to understand the equivalence point. So in this class we will be discussing about what, in, what is meant by acid base indicator and what is an indicator range is. So let's see. In acid base titration there will be a change in pH value during the titration process. This occur at equivalence point. Hence a suitable indicator must be used to determine the equivalence point. This acid base indicators can be also called as pH indicator because the color changes depend upon the change in pH. So they are called pH indicators. These pH indicators can be defined as a substance which changes the color in accordance with pH and are required to indicate the completion of the chemical reaction in volumetric analysis. They are usually weak acids or bases. So these pH indicators are either weak acids or bases which when dissolved in water gives ions. So it is explain with the help of a reaction so HIN that is indicator when dissolved in water it gives hydronium ion that is H3O plus ion and IN minus so we can see in undissociated form it has got an, a color that is the color A and when it is dissolved in water and when it is ionized it has got a another color that is color B that is red so the color will change depends upon the change in pH so examples of pH indicators are phenolphthalein methyl red methyl orange etc so now we will see what is indicator range the acid base indicators exhibit a color change depends on the pH although this color change does not occur suddenly or rapidly but takes place within a small pH range usually about 2 pH units that is called indicator range so this pH indicators color change will not happen rapidly it takes place within a small pH range so that small pH range is called indicator range so each indicator has got different indicator range so we'll see some examples 